Hey friends, want to make a little video today to show you guys our travel trailer. We have a 2017 Forest River Wildwood 28 D-Bud and we want to take you on a tour since we've not really done that so far. So we're going to show you around the camper and then we're going to tell you a little bit about what we like and what we don't like about the camper and maybe uh, what we might want to do here in the near future. Stay tuned and enjoy the tour. All right, so we have a 2017 Forest River Wildwood. This is the 28 D-Bud version or model. And this model is a bunkhouse and it has the bunks in the back. We'll take a look in a minute at the back. We have a couple of nice features here. We have a Hensley hitch. I've also added a nice toolbox here to the front for storage purposes. We have a pass-through storage here, large door on this side, lots of space. Got some hooks up here where I kept fishing rods. We have another container, storage container at the back. All of our goodies are back here. So sewage, water, electricity, grill, all that good stuff can easily stay in the back. Electronic stabilizing jacks here so you can easily push the button they come down those are a great feature on the back I've installed a ladder which is a nice feature to have just in case you have an issue um, we have our slide we have one big slide which has the couch jackknife couch and a u-shaped table the other side of the camper here the other side of the pass through and we have added one thing and we have a honey pot underneath and I kind of fabricated a bracket to hold it in place and it was something that we decided to keep with us as we traveled all right so we're gonna step inside the camper at this point and we have an electronic opener here very nice little feature it also has a key lock and unlock just in case but the electronic function is really nice to have the kids can easily use it um, everything on this camper is also key to like so i replaced all the cams with uh, locks that have the same exact key and they're not the same key that you see with most campers that 751 key it's a little bit different so let's step inside and take a look so as we come in, we have a jackknife bed sofa, storage underneath, nice big drawer, U-shaped dinette, also has storage under this side. We've got three nice cabinets above the sofa, which we have used for pantry items. As we pan around, we can see the Dometic freezer and fridge dual use propane or electric very nice stays cold we have suburban stove and oven microwave high point microwave cabinets next to the microwave sink with a nice uh, pull down handle here it's two function sprayer there and then we have a couple of cabinets here drawers under sink cabinet and this really cool cabinet that comes out gives you some extra space we like to keep uh, ziploc bags those kinds of things there it's just a really nice use of the space there we do have electronics set up here it has a dvd player am fm radio hooked up to our system here and then you've got speakers in the ceiling four speakers total main air conditioner in fact the only air conditioner here is this unit right above the kitchen and you can um, use this it'll it'll cool the whole place down real quick so we have a sink just outside of the bathroom which I think is a nice feature that way somebody can use the sink brush their teeth whatever they need to do um, outside of the bathroom while somebody else is showering got a cabinet down below medicine cabinet above again a good bit of storage 
have our bunks over to the left, top bunk, bottom bunk. Bathroom in the rear, standard toilet, shower with a tub, and a fair size tub. One more stop on the tour. Oh, before we go into the bedroom, we have a lot of storage space underneath the TV area. The three nice cabinets here, they're about eight inches, six inches deep, and we store a lot of games and other knickknacks there. Come into the bedroom, nice queen size bed, overhead storage. We have two closets, one on each side of the bed. They have a hang up rack and a lot of space. Over on the right side of the bed, there's also a pass through. Some people use this, it goes down into the under compartment, the pass through storage area. Some people can put a hamper there or will put a hamper and you can drop your dirty clothes in. We have outlets on both sides of the bed. Storage, which I've added a couple of shelves in the storage here and that's really helped us out whenever we're camping, especially if you want to camp a little bit longer in places. Another TV hookup right here. And so that's the master bedroom. So one of the other things that we decided to do when we first purchased the camper was buy new tires. Because of all the stories that we've heard and we were relatively, or were new to traveling with a trailer, uh, we did not want to get on to the side of the road with an issue and I know that can happen to anybody at any time but we decided to switch out our tires and we decided to buy D-rated Maxus 8008 tires and so those are really good tires I highly recommend them keep them inflated correctly and you shouldn't have any issues we drove about 8,000 miles this past summer with those tires and never had a single issue so I really recommend the Maxxis tires. I'll put a little link down below so you guys can take a look at those. They're well worth the money. A little bit pricey for D-rated tires, but I think you will get many years of use out of those. Overall, we really like our 2017 Wildwood D-Bud. Um, it's, a, it's a good camper. We like a couple of specific features. We especially like the bedroom with a walk around bed that just makes things easier in the bedroom. You can actually change the clothes. And change sheets. Yes, yeah, changing <laughs> sheets is much easier and we all know that's a problem in a camper. Also, the bedroom has a door so that gives us the ability to watch more TV by ourselves. Right. <laughs> so, that's always good. Um, another thing we like is the U-shaped dinette. Um, gives us lots of space. We like to play games there instead of being sitting you know, in the chairs or a small booth type um, dinette. We really enjoy the U-shaped dinette. You can probably find those in a lot of models, so we really like that. A lot of people have gone to the tables, and that's good, you mm -hmm. know, and, and uh, we just, the dinette we had, it was large, and it was good for us with uh, younger kids. I can see where older uh, teenagers it might be a little bit more difficult to use. And it had the storage underneath the benches that we liked. Yeah, which um, it, speaking of that, great storage space throughout the camper. Um, the storage space underneath that dinette, there's a huge area, not just the drawer that I showed you, but you can pull all the cushions off and we stored all kinds of stuff there. So things that we didn't need quite as often and we could mm -hmm. store excess toilet paper, especially for 2020 in that particular <laughs> area. It's just a great location to keep those things. It was another good place to put like your winter clothes because when we went out on our west trip, you know, we had a variety of weather conditions. Um, as you've probably seen in some of our videos, we went from sunny and 80 to sleet, snow, rain in 38. Yes. So you, when you're going on a long trip like that to different areas of the country, you have to kind of plan for that. So that gave us an extra space to put our boots and our winter coats and things. So Yeah, for sure. 
it was the the sink in the bath on um, outside of the bathroom we found that that was very beneficial because somebody could be taking a shower while somebody else was putting on makeup or getting you know their teeth brushed and things like that so that way one person didn't have the whole bathroom at one time so even though it might seem a little odd to be outside in the living space we really actually enjoyed that um, because you can wash your hands and do things without tying up the bathroom. So. Yeah, our bathroom is a little bit tight in some of those uh, rear bunkhouse models where you have the bunks on one side of the bathroom on the other. And so the sink in the <coughs> living area actually was very convenient. It's still kind of hidden, so you don't necessarily see it, mm -hmm. but to be able to have the kids brush their teeth or you know, somebody be able to do their hair. <laughs> right. You know, that's not me, obviously. Um, <laughs> he never tied up the bathroom except you shower. <laughs> no, yeah, you don't have to tie up the bathroom and everybody can do their thing and get ready faster. So these are some of the things that we really liked about our D-Bud. There's always pros and cons to every camper model. Um, there's no perfect camper. And so a couple of things that we want to share with you that we maybe didn't like or would rather have had a little differently in our model was the couch and the TV kind of sat at an L shape and so to sit and watch TV you had to turn and look up at the TV and so that made it you know not as comfy as you might would want if you were hanging out on a rainy day or whatever to sit around you know in the living area so that would be one change that we would have made. We're not big TV junkies <laughs> but you know when you get that rainy day and there's just nothing else to do then it is kind of nice to be able to see the TV from the correct angle. <laughs> yeah. Uh, speaking of that jackknife sofa you know, we ended up using it a lot of times just laying it down and we would lay down and watch TV sometimes mm -hmm. or, you know, just to get that extra space, uh, lay that down because there's not a lot of seating space mm -hmm. in a lot of the travel trailers. And so that was a problem that we've run into with the travel trailer and it's made us kind of think, do we want to keep a travel trailer or do we want to do something different? Right. Yeah. And then the other thing that we kind of thought could have been a better design model on this one was under the bed, a lot of times under the bed has storage space. And instead of having a, you know, a flat space where you could stuff stuff in, it went to the under underside storage. And so we lost that whole under the bed storage compartment. And so that would have definitely been helpful for adding just even more, we always know that storage space is a big um, plus and so yeah for blankets and sheets <laughs> yeah. and just mm -hmm. things like that we need somewhere to put stuff and mm -hmm. unfortunately it didn't have a lot of good location uh, for that and there was no overhead cabinet storage in the bedroom either yeah. so made do with it we, we changed and used some little boxes there but it, it's still not a good use of yeah. space yeah. It definitely could have been better mm -hmm. but that was it you know we just had a few things we really have enjoyed that travel trailer so since we were talking about storage space for um, things that we might have not liked in our um, travel trailer, we decided to have some nice little handyman here who can do just about anything. So we decided to add some shelving into the um, cabinet that's beside of the closet space that's beside the bunk area because really that was just a very deep space and it wasn't really, our kids don't hang up their clothes usually. Um, so we decided to add two shelves in there and use the the boxes, the little cubicle boxes for them to store their clothes as we traveled. And so that was a huge help um, and a great use of space. It probably tripled the use of space inside of that particular cabinet yeah, because between the refrigerator up. and the um, bunk beds. Mm -hmm. And so that was huge for us in traveling long distances. We used those little hanging shelf things that you can put in your closet, but that was not a great still was very limited on what you could put in there. So mm -hmm. to add the wooden shelves to go all the way back, it dramatically changed the amount of storage space we had for them. Yeah, it did. <laughs> um, one of the other changes that we made was our hitch setup. When we bought the travel trailer, it had just a regular weight distribution hitch setup and uh, driving it around, it was okay for a while. And then we started driving on the interstates a little bit more and I noticed we were pulling with an F-150 at that point, the, the sway was just terrible. And so it was either get rid of that and get something smaller or change out the hitch. And so I found a Hensley hitch, bought it, bought used, and it worked excellent. Mm -hmm. It changed our whole philosophy of travel with the travel trailer. And uh, we took it all the way to, to Texas and back. And I even drove for the first time with something behind it. Um, and it was great. So for those of you ladies who might be worried about pulling, that was a great help and it made me feel very comfortable with traveling. So it's a great addition and we got it for a good price. 
Yeah. They're expensive, so they are. Look if you for buy yours. them new, they're mm -hmm. like thirty five hundred dollars. Um, but they are well worth their price. Yeah. I, and I'm a I'm not a gimmick person, and we're not getting paid by Hensley Hitch, <laughs> but I promise you, it fixes sway. I, the <laughs> physics of it really works and it really does change out the sway unless you have super high winds. Yeah. So we talked about tires in the video already You know, tires are very important. So we did change out our tires to Maxxis tires and I think that was a worthwhile investment. We actually changed out our brakes and bearings as well. Buying a used trailer, you never know what, what you've gotten, how much maintenance has been done and I'm not one who's going to just pinch a few pennies here you know, to, to save a few dollars, it's no point. Safety is of the utmost. You break down on the side of the interstate and that's just a dangerous situation. Um, the last thing, last two upgrades we did were adding the ladder, uh, three upgrades I have to say, <laughs> adding the ladder, the backup camera, which was nice, and then that toolbox on the front that you mm -hmm. saw in the video. Yeah, Give us extra great. storage. Yeah. 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 So overall, I think we've been real happy with our Wildwood. Um, got a few journeys left, but I think we're going to make a change real soon and you guys will see that change here before too long. So in fact, we're going to make a few changes <laughs> in a few videos coming up. So stay tuned and we'll see you out on, on the, the Muve. Muve.